Can't believe you came back for us. You saved our lives. Lieutenant, you took a direct hit. How do you feel? That move looks bad. I don't think the lieutenant can talk. Copy that. Lieutenant, what you just did was both the bravest and dumbest thing I have ever seen. I can't count. I took out 11 of Rommel's best men. <laughs> Lieutenant, please try not to move. Good morning, Lieutenant. I'm Colonel Ebbets. Welcome back to the land of the living. You've been through a lot, so I'll keep it brief. I'm with the Office of Strategic Services. Our mission is sabotage, subversion, and everything in between. We're taking the fight to the Nazis, going after the Third Reich on their home turf. We do some of the most dangerous work of the war, and we're looking for people just like you. Now the Sergeant and I go way back. He's an excellent judge of character. And for what you did in Tunisia, he's nominated you for the Medal of Honor. Trust me, Lieutenant. I hate doing paperwork. But in your case, I made an exception. You saved our lives. I have a motto. Life is usually a pageant of idiots and fools. But occasionally, you find yourself in the company of good people. And then, anything is possible. Lieutenant, you are now going to hear the most important question I can ask. Would you like to join the OSS? Excellent. What about you, gentlemen? It's simple. We go where the lieutenant goes. Yes, sir. I have every confidence you're going to make me look like a genius for recruiting you. Welcome to the OSS. Hello, Lieutenant. I'm Dr. Thatch. Welcome to the infirmary. Ah, we'll have you back on your feet in no time. Ah, I know you're having some trouble speaking after what happened in Tunisia, so let's just use hand gestures, eh? Ah, delightful. Now, I'm going to ask you a series of questions. And don't worry, you can change your answers at any time. Now, my first question is an easy one, Lieutenant. Are you left or right-handed? Please, make your choice. Ah, fantastic. Now, let's confirm your fine motor skills. Please, pick up the service weapon next to you. Splendid. Now, give me a thumbs up if you're ready to continue or a thumbs down if you want to change your selection. Ah, well done, Lieutenant. On to the next question. Now, Lieutenant, you're going into an active combat zone. Whenever you're in close proximity to an explosion, you might feel a concussive blast. The technicians call it camera shake. You can also feel this camera shake phenomenon when firing your weapon. But through the wonders of modern medicine, I can easily adjust how much camera shake you feel. Please, let me know your preference. Just to be sure, why don't you test fire your weapon? Now, if you're happy with your choice, please give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to choose again, give me a thumbs down. Jolly good, Lieutenant. On to the next question. Now, on to a few tactical matters, Lieutenant. Now, let's discuss how you want to view an enemy's threat level. Now, 
See the two imaginary enemies in front of you? Note how their threat level is indicated above their heads. The more stars they have, the bigger the threat. An enemy with one star should be easy for you to dispatch. Five stars, though? Oh, watch out, Lieutenant. Seeing an enemy's threat level from a distance gives you the chance to adjust your tactics accordingly. It can be quite helpful. Now, some of the technicians in the back say this affects immersion. Hogwash! Whatever floats your boat, I say! Lieutenant, please choose if you'd like to see the enemy threat level. Please give me a thumbs up if you're happy with your selection, or a thumbs down if you'd like to choose again. Wonderful. On to the next question. Now, Lieutenant, we can also provide a supplemental hit marker whenever you damage an enemy. It's a subtle flash around your peripheral vision, combined with a special sound whipped up by our audio engineers. Please choose whether or not you'd like these extra hit markers. Now, to verify your choice, try eliminating the enemies in front of you. Please remember, they're just imaginary. I'm a gentleman, not a savage. Now, if you like your choice, Please, give me a thumbs up. Otherwise, a thumbs down, Lieutenant. Very good. Let's move on to the next question. Now, Lieutenant, your line of work can be quite dangerous. There's always a chance you could be injured in the field. Please choose how you would like to experience what we call in the medical field, taking damage. I'm now going to simulate a slight injury. This won't hurt at all. <laughs> Lieutenant, please give me a thumbs up if you're happy with your selection, or a thumbs down if you'd like an opportunity to choose again. Well done. Let's move on. Now, Lieutenant, you're still recovering from your experiences in Tunisia. Some of your upcoming missions may have intense sequences or physical activity that could make you uncomfortable. Would you like the option to skip these sequences? Don't worry, you can revisit those parts of the mission whenever you'd like. Fantastic. Remember, you can change this setting in the options menu at any time. Let's move on. Now, Lieutenant, here's an opportunity for you to choose the overall difficulty of your OSS experience. Please, let me know your preference. Ha, ah, an excellent choice. You can adjust this setting at any time in the options menu. Now for some mobility tests. First, I'm going to help you get on your feet. You can quickly change the direction you're facing with what we call a flick turn. Lieutenant, choose which kind of flick turn you prefer. Try turning and see how it feels. Excellent. Lieutenant, please give me a thumbs up to continue, or a thumbs down to choose again. No worries, Lieutenant. I'm happy to run the test again. Lieutenant, choose which kind of flick turn you prefer. Try turning and see how it feels. Excellent. Lieutenant, please give me a thumbs up to continue, or a thumbs down to choose again. Brilliant. Let's move on. It's wonderful to see you on your feet. You've made an incredibly fast recovery. Now it's time for the last test. Some of our agents prefer to have what we call a tunneling effect when they move. Let me know your preference. Now, Lieutenant, try walking across the room towards me. Wonderful. Give me a thumbs up if you want to keep this setting, or a thumbs down if you'd like to choose again. Perfect. Lieutenant, congratulations. 
I am certifying you for active duty. Welcome to the OSS. Welcome to the firing range, Lieutenant. Now that you're back on your feet, the Colonel thought we should give you a quick combat refresher. Your current objective is always shown on your sleeve. Take a look. Hover your hand over objects. You can use either hand. Give your other hand a try. Now it's time to move, Lieutenant. I see you're a southpaw. Good, just like my mother. And my mother was a saint. Look at your sleeve again. The arrow always points in the direction you need to go. Use the left stick to move, the right stick to turn. To run, press in the left stick. Let's move on to live fire training. Remember, you can always adjust your comfort and controller settings by pressing the pause button and accessing the options menu. To run, Press in the left stick. All right, Lieutenant, it's time to shoot stuff. Specialist McKinney is here to help you learn the basics. Grab the pistol from its holster on your hip. Squeeze the trigger to fire. Holding the pistol with both hands will give you more stability and accuracy. Press this button to eject the magazine. You Excellent job, Lieutenant. Now, grab a bring the magazine up to the... Look at that. Like magic. Now, pull the slider towards you. Squid. Now, let go of the pistol. A weapon will automatically return to its holster after you release it. Larger weapons will holster on your back. Reach over your shoulder and grab your M1A1 submachine gun.
To run, press in the left stick. Here's Specialist Lamouge to help demonstrate some advanced weapon handling. You carry your pistol on your hip and a larger weapon on each shoulder. When you pick up a new weapon, it will replace the one you currently have in that slot. Grab this Carabiner 98K rifle with your left or right hand, and you'll see it's easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now get ammo for this K98 from these ammunition boxes. Fire away, Lieutenant. is a bolt-action rifle, so you reload by pulling and pushing the bolt after each shot. You can use either hand, Rayford. Let's go to the next station. just got out of the infirmary, Lieutenant, but we need to give you a quick refresher on battlefield medicine. You will automatically heal from minor wounds, but if you really get hurt, you'll need to use some first aid. Pretend to hurt yourself by smashing your hand on these rusty nails. Ouch! Grab a first aid. Now comes the fun part. Stab yourself in the chest. The syringe will all... I'm now on to grenades. Head up the stairs. Pick up an American grenade, which looks like a small... Pull the pin. Throw the grenade, Lieutenant. Now this is a German hand. Arm the grenade and throw it. You can use your grenades are stored on your chest. Pick a grenade up and let it go. See how it automatically moves into place? Take on the Third Reich. When you're done with grenades, head on down the stairs to the firing range. time at the firing range as you want. When you're done, just go through the door to return to headquarters. Bingo! Eaten by bears!
It's Ollie, right? Yes, sir. Ollie, how old are you? I'm 23. I'm 19. I'm 16. I have every right to be here. More than you, that's for sure. The Nazis didn't bomb Abilene, Texas. They bombed London, England. They destroyed my home. They burned my entire life to the ground, and now I want to do the same thing to the Third Reich. Go ahead, turn me in. I'll find a way to get to the front. How do you think I got to Tunisia? Forging transfer orders has become an hobby of mine. I will make it to France. Ah, don't worry, Ali. Your secret's safe. I'm pretty sure the lieutenant isn't gonna say anything. Thank you, Sarge. Thank you, Lieutenant. But I have two rules. Keep your head down and do exactly what I say. Yes, sir. You don't listen to me even once. I'll turn you over to the Germans myself, understand? I understand, sir. I won't disappoint you. Either of you. Somehow, this motley crew has been tasked with saving civilization. God help us all. All right. Enough talking, training, and tests. It's time to go after the Nazis. We're sending you into occupied France. Yes, sir. Your first mission is to make contact with the French Resistance. You'll be working with a cell led by Manon Batiste. He's been our eyes and ears on the ground since the war started. Your rendezvous will be along the coast, the St. Catherine Lighthouse, the Germans are using as an observation post. The Resistance will give you a signal when it's safe to come ashore. We'll have three days to assist the Resistance, gather intelligence on German activity, and sabotage targets of opportunity. Now I'm talking about a small communications relay or a fuel truck, not anything like blowing up a train, destroying the stop of headquarters. This is your first OSS mission. Baby steps. Now I want to introduce you to Huxley, our quartermaster. She'll get you set up with what you need, but she'll give you some nice goodie bags for the resistance. Three days in and out. Keep it simple. I'll see you on the other side. Dismissed. Hello, I'm Huxley, your quartermaster. I'm here to brief you on weapons, gear, and all the threats you'll face. I'm backed up by a full model shop, a sewing brigade, and the best gunsmiths the Allied nations have to offer. Have a look around. I'll be happy to answer any questions you have. Well, this is quite the treat. Your friend Marcel made this custom for you in his workshop. Talk about something that goes Boom. It's easily the most lethal sidearm we have at close range. Though, it comes with a massive bullet spread. There's also an intense kickback when firing quickly, one-handed. Either hold it with both hands while firing, 
or take a short pause between each shot to account for the recoil. Spent shells can be ejected by simply jerking the weapon in any direction. After new shells are loaded, the barrels can be reset in the same one-handed way. The M. Combined with perfect accuracy, makes it the perfect weapon for covering corridors or long distance. The M1 is a machine gun. The weapon of choice for many Americans. 30 bullets in the magazine. Among the weapons in your conventional arsenal, the M1A1 has the quickest firing rate and causes the highest damage, but has the lowest accuracy. Even when held two-handed, spraying the entire magazine at once will cause the weapon to go wild. Shotgun and nothing else will do. At close range, this weapon has no fear. Perfect for clearing corridors and bunkers. You have to pump the shotgun after every shot. Try doing it with one hand by making a brisk up and down. You'll be able to pump your shotgun with one hand while throwing a grenade with the other. Germans will run in fear and Speak your name in whispers. The MP4 It has a slower firing rate than the American M1A1, but in the right hands, it can be more lethal. This special weapon is on loan from Colonel Ebbets. Apparently, it's a family heirloom. He calls it Uncle Nate's Rough Rider. I call it an exquisite Nazi killing machine. It can be fired entirely one-handed, with only minimal impact to accuracy. And it's the only rifle in your arsenal that can be reloaded entirely one-handed. While slightly less lethal than a bolt-action rifle, it's deadlier than any semi-automatic. The Rough Rider is best for mid to long-range combat, and it can be slam-fired by holding it two-handed while keeping the trigger squeezed. Just remember to cock the lever after every shot.
The sergeant already told you how much he loves the M1 Garand. Everything he said is true. It's reliable, accurate, easy to reload, and easy to aim. Of all the semi-automatic rifles in your arsenal, the Garand has the highest power. Its only real drawback is the low magazine size. The on-block clip only holds eight it auto-ejects quickly for a fast reload. The Gewehr 43. An impressive weapon. It requires a bit more effort to reload than the Garand, but it comes with a larger magazine. It's every bit as accurate as the other semi-automatic weapons, but rapidly firing the Gewehr's entire magazine will cause its accuracy to go wild. Huxley, who is that? Hopefully you won't encounter any Waffen SS officers during your three days in Normandy. They are, as you yanks are fond of saying, bad news. Huxley, what's that? When conducting sabotage in the field, you'll often attach explosives to your targets. In lieu of dynamite, Practice attaching one thing to another with this decidedly non-explosive piece of paper. Then, light it on fire. Follow the instructions to ignite the lighter. Sometimes, the smallest spark can bring down the largest target. Good luck. 